What's happening folks? What's up good people? Welcome to another vlog. Um, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because I'm about to go walk his little butt outside and I swear to goodness, it feels like the temperature is like steadily dropping as I'm outside. It's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever experienced this kind of cold in Colorado. So yeah, I'm gonna go walk him real quick. I'm not gonna vlog from out there because it's just too damn cold. I'm not trying to spend too much time out there. Oh boy, it's freezing out there. I'm, I just turned on the heater. Let me uh, turn on the light. There it is. Ooh, whiteness. Um, yeah, no, it's 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 fucking cold. I'm not kidding. Like I couldn't take it too much longer. I spent 30 minutes up there with him, and it, it got colder and colder. I mean, I'm barely feeling my fi feeling my fingers right now, and I was wearing gloves. So yeah, Whew. it's. This is too much. Um, if I haven't said it, I'll say it now. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, I am Izzy, otherwise, otherwise known as Messiah, which is kind of like my first name, basically. And uh, they call me the hoodie vlogger, also the realest vlogger on YouTube. Who calls you that? I have no clue. Stop pointing at me, you bastard. I swear, I just snitch on myself all the time. Anyway, let me get undressed, get relaxed, because um, I have some semi-exciting news. Good people. Hmm. So I am shit shaped and showered. About ready to hit the sack. Rack out. Knock out. Kind of like what he's doing right now. In a couple minutes he'll be on the bed. But let's let's put that aside for a second. Um, oh, Uber was good. Uh, I'm finding myself less and less inclined to, I guess, uh, vlog while I'm Ubering. Simply because I'm more focused on the drive on ubering and wait, even if i'm waiting for another ride i'm on my phone looking at stuff and um <laughs> boy did i see something today <laughs> yeah boy i can't wait to share it with you actually uh check this bullshit out what i say to you now what i speak about right now um this is there's a lot of dog hair on my bed this is my personal opinion so disclaimer this is my personal opinion. This is has should not be associated with any organization that I may be a part of or otherwise. Okay? My own personal opinion. This is Messiah, a.k.a. Izzy, a.k.a. The Hoodie Vlogger. This is my personal opinion. Plain and simple. All right, let's get to the story. Essentially, there's an article that I've been reading from multiple uh, news resources, and I know the news is not exactly the most reliable thing right now. I mean, I'll just be really blunt and honest about that. Look at him, just just making a mess on my bed. Anyway, apparently, Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross has essentially said that unpaid federal workers shouldn't have to go to food banks or go to homeless shelters, they should just get a loan. Yeah. Hey guys, we get it, you're not getting paid, but you know what? Go get a personal loan. It's cool, go get a loan. The The bank will give you guys the money. It's, it's nothing, it's absolutely nothing. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wilbur Ross, you know nothing about well people in general because here's the thing okay here's the thing i'm pretty sure this guy is essentially sitting in his ivory tower in his little castle because he's probably still getting paid right yes he is uh and he's telling federal workers who if i'm not mistaken are being told to go back to work without pay that I 100% disagree with. Uh, I ain't doing shit for free, plain and simple. And even when I do, it's for God and country. So essentially, it ain't for free. And that's how I think about it. But he's telling folks, go get loans. Yeah, go get like a $6,000, $5,000, $8,000 loan, whatever. Now, mind you, there are a bunch of institutions that are offering certain kinds of loans. Uh, they are trying to offer 
uh, low interest loans, you know, and that's, I have to really be honest, that is extremely commendable. I, I will say that much, that is commendable. But here's the thing, Mr. Wilbur Ross, these people cannot afford to pay their bills. A lot of folks are going to GoFundMe, uh, basically setting up a GoFundMe so that they can raise money to be able to just live. Uh, this is not to get rich quick. This is just, I want to live. I want to keep a roof over my head, clothes on my back, and a food in my belly. That's it. He wants people to go get loans. Buddy, you're essentially asking someone to take on a to take on another bill that they can't afford to pay. That's, see, that, uh, mm, huh. That's essentially the whole nine, ten yards of it. You're asking people, regular people, to take on a bill that they cannot afford at all because if you get a loan, maybe you have the first month free, maybe the first couple of days free, whatever it is, they can't afford to pay that first payment. Why? Because they're using that money to stay afloat, using that money to get groceries, using that money to pay bills, essentially, again, a roof over the head, clothes on their back, food in their bellies. I mean, dude, really? This guy doesn't, he, now, again, these federal institutions, these institutions, Banks are offering low interest loans to federal employees. Some are even even offering interest free loans. Here's the money. Here's the thing with that. And I read this. It, that can only happen for so long to such an extent where then the bank themselves are going to have to get a loan to be able to cover down. Do you see what I'm saying? The bank is just going to give money, give money, give money. Okay, here's the money, no interest. Here's the money, no interest. Okay. Well, let's say this thing goes on another 30 something days because we're at like 30 or whatever day it is, right? But we're about a month into this government shutdown. Um, yeah, eventually the bank is going to have to get a loan themselves so that they're not in trouble and they're not going out of business. This can only, this is a temporary fix. This is a band-aid on a very, very big wound that needs to get fixed ASAP. Now, I know everything ties in with a bunch of different things. That, like, it's all tangled up. It's a freaking tangled mess. It's like a rope that ne that's just truly 100% fucked and tangled. And not only is it tangled, someone threw some glue in there, it grew some mold, and now it's just like you can't see the front end, you can't see the front to the back, nothing, it's just one big ball of mess. Rope, nasty, just bleh. Okay? It's, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. And for this individual, who, I again, I am sure are sitting in his ivory fucking tower, Talking about maybe, you know, you guys should go get loans. People can't afford that. They can't. That's just, they, they cannot. You know? And I know, I, I'm one to talk because, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite because I'm still getting paid. You know? But I've, I've heard rumors here and there. None of them, it, eh, actually, you know what? All the rumors I've heard are exactly what they are. Just rumors. There, there's nothing substantiating them whatsoever. Um, but I do know that 800,000 people, and I'm going to say 800,000 plus people are essentially out of work right now and they are suffering, you know, and I, I, you know, here's the thing, cause I, I've heard this from a couple different, uh, sources. Well, you know what? Maybe they should have a savings first off. It's none of your business what they have in their wallet. Second off, a savings can only go so far. And if these people have bills to pay this, that, and the other, it only goes so far before it kind of depletes and then you're fucking broke. All right? Maybe they should get a loan. Again. 
that's another bill they can't afford. Now, there's one thing that I thought of, but I don't know. The little bit that I do know, I know they can't, uh, some government workers can't do this. Get another job, get a side job. Okay, that would make sense, yes. But the little bit that I do know, certain government workers are not allowed to get a second job. They actually have to be available on call to be able to come in when the shutdown ends. Like they have to be available on the spot. Hey, shutdown's over, get your ass to work now. Now that's, again, this is just a little, I don't know if this is a blanket thing for all government employees, you know, federal employees and whatnot, but I know uh, for a fact certain ones that I've that I've had experience with, they, they're not allowed to have a second job, plain and simple. So. Um, Mr. Wilbur Ross, you, you, you're, you're, you don't, you don't know the people, man, straight up. You, you just don't know the people. And I feel like you need to step down from your ivory tower, step down from your little castle. Cause let's be honest, you are a government employee and you're still getting paid. There's a lot of people over in the government right now that are still getting paid. And there are people who from what I've read and heard that essentially they're being told to come back to work without pay. That's, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that whatsoever. Um, now I'm only talking about this aspect of it. I'm not going to sit here and talk about whether or not I agree with the wall or I agree with what Trump is saying in regards to this, that, and the other. That, that's a, for me, for me, that is a whole different conversation that requires me to really like, dive deep into a little bit of some research to really form so that I can form a much better and well-rounded opinion um, this that I'm talking about this is the last like two hours of reading you know on you know online resources and whatnot and uh, you know I know again like I said before everything connects in, in some strange odd way but this little bit that I'm talking about and obviously it's connected to you know the different situation that we just spoke about I'm taking that away and I'm just talking about this little bit I don't agree with someone saying go get a loan I, I don't agree with people saying well maybe they should have a savings build up that one that's none of your business uh, what people do with their money Two, you know it can only go so far when you not have constant income coming in and uh, three uh, getting a loan is just it defeats the purpose of trying to save money so that you can live because essentially you are borrowing money and you eventually have to pay the shit back and who knows if there's a, if there's a, even an article saying that they don't even know if there's going to be any back pay because of this so how are they supposed to pay that loan that's just another bill that they that you've basically forced on someone that they can't afford to pay so that's my two cents on the on that portion of it. Give me my change if you don't like it. I don't care. Uh, whether you agree or disagree, I actually want to know. Comment below. Uh, let me know what we you know what you think, what you ponder on this particular thing. Again, I'm not going to talk about the wall. I'm not going to talk about uh, President Trump whatsoever. That's not my lane. That's that's not my prerogative. I'm talking about this one particular thing. I'm being very very clear on this topic. This one particular thing, this one particular thing that I have an opinion about in regards to government employees that are not at work right now and they are being told by someone who is, is getting paid, go get a loan. So if you get a comment below, please do so. I don't mind reading it. I don't mind responding. I help. Sometimes I'll even try to respond via video. That way, you know, you can like see where I'm coming from, you know, the face, even though it's extra ugly, all that jazz. But yeah, th so again, just remember, I'm talking about one thing. I'm not talking about President Trump and I'm not talking about, you know, anything else that connects to this. It's just one particular thing. I feel like I repeated it myself over and over and over and over and over. I'm doing it right now. Jesus, look how cute this guy looks. He's like... He's like a, a contortionist in his sleep. Literally, this is how he sleeps sometimes. I don't know how this is freaking comfortable. Somebody 
Tell me how this is comfortable for dogs. Yeah. Okay, people. So, um, I'm coming back at you literally a minute later from where I'm sitting at uh, on the floor with him. He's got the right idea. It's, it's about time we hit the sack. Because look, look at this kid. Once again, my dog is essentially a contortionist. Do you see this? How does he sleep like this? Uh, what, you don't want to see... You know, oh, balls! There he is. You don't want to see all that. But the, he sleeps like a contortionist. Uh, or he just... I don't know. I, I don't... I, I don't have the words right now. But um, that's the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please, if you can, like and subscribe. All that jazz. Comment below. Comment on my dog. Why does he sleep like this? Why, why does he... Why is he my dog a contortionist? I have no freaking clue. Um, anyway, all that being said, I'm going to bed. Out of here.